Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about trigonometric functions. No, this is not trig, but this is the FTP video that I just did today, and you guys should check it out. But today we're going to talk about the basic concept of trig functions, meaning Sokotoa, and what sine, cosine, and tangent are. I think I should change this. Okay, I think that's way much better. So we're going to go over trigonometry, the basic concept of Sokotoa, what is sine, cosine, tangent, you're probably like, what? And we're gonna go over what is this fancy symbol right here and what is the relationship between a triangle with this symbol, which is theta. So before I start, I just wanna thank you guys for filling out that survey because now I have a general idea of what to go over. And this is like one of the first topics that people really recommend me to go over. So yeah, now the screen is gonna go over to the iPad now. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about is this fancy symbol right here, theta. So theta is a variable used for angle measure. It will be used as the reference angle when doing trigonometry. So basically, theta is any given angle that you give it. So if you say that, oh, theta is 50 degrees, then theta is 50 degrees. And so here, if I say find the measure of theta, right? And I say that, okay, this part right here is 65 degrees and this part right here is 55 degrees and I'm trying to find theta. Well, remember that all triangles equal 180 degrees. And so... If I have an angle right now with 65 plus 55, that is 120 plus theta equals 180 degrees. And so to get theta by itself, do minus 120 on both sides. To then get theta equals 60 degrees. So this makes sense because if you say 60 plus 65 plus 55 must equal 180 degrees because all triangles equals 180 degrees. And that's how you find theta for these type of problems. Okay, so now we're going to talk about naming sides of a triangle. And the first one we're going to talk about is the hypotenuse. The side opposite to the right angle is always the hypotenuse. Meaning that this right angle right here pointing opposite to the side is your hypotenuse. And so another name is called opposite side. The side opposite of the reference angle is the opposite side. So right here, theta, if it's pointing opposite to this side right here, that is classified as the opposite side. Whereas the right angle pointing opposite to that side is the hypotenuse. So what is this side called right here? The last remaining side will be called adjacent side, meaning right next to theta. And so one thing to note is that the opposite side and the adjacent side can change wherever the theta is located. So right here, on the top, we saw that it was located right here. So that means that we could determine this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side. However, because the theta is right here now, the opposite side will be here and the adjacent side will be here. Because theta is pointing opposite right here, so that's your opposite side right here. And adjacent is right next to the theta, so adjacent has to be here. Okay, so now you're probably like, why? Why do we have to do this? Like, what was the purpose of doing this? Well... Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics dealing with properties of triangles and their application. So understanding this allows us to correctly write the ratios of sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay, guys, so the first trig function that you're supposed to know is called sine. The sine of an angle is equal to the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. In other words, right here, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. And so here, right, if we're giving an example of sine, right, what will be sine? Well, sine will be opposite over hypotenuse, which we established over here. And so fatal pointing opposite would be four. And then the hypotenuse will be five. And so the way how we write this is sine theta equals four over five, because four is your opposite side and five is your hypotenuse. And so one thing to note is that you will see this button on your calculator called sine. This button right here is to find your calculations when you use sine. Okay, guys, now we're going to go over cosine. So cosine of an angle is equal to the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. What that means is that cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Remember that sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So these are two different things. And so an example is right here. We have the same right triangle. And right here, theta is pointing opposite to 4. So this is your opposite. 5 is your hypotenuse. 
and 3 is their adjacent. But cosine involves adjacent and hypotenuse only, where your adjacent is on top. And so 3 is your adjacent right here, so this correlates with the top. And 5 is your hypotenuse, so this correlates as the bottom. And so that makes sense right here. So cosine theta equals 3 over 5 because cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And so another thing to note is that you will also see cosine in your calculator as well to calculate the ratio when you're given a problem about cosine. And so our last trick function for today is called tangent. And tangent of an angle is equal to the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. So what that means is that tan theta equals opposite over adjacent, where cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse and sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. And so we're going to use the same example again with the 3, 4, 5 right triangle and we're going to find what is tan theta. So remember that tan theta is opposite over adjacent so that means that theta has to point opposite to this side right here which is 4 and adjacent will be 3 because theta is right next to 3. And so that makes sense because tan is opposite over adjacent. And also, 10 is also in your calculator, which you would need to use for calculating tangent. And so, like, right now, you're probably like, how are we going to remember this? Well, there's this thing called Soka to to remember this, where sine, which is S, is opposite over hypotenuse. C, which is cosine, is adjacent over hypotenuse. And T, which is tangent, is opposite over adjacent. And this is a way to remember Sokoto or sine, cosine, and tangent. And so these are the examples right here of sine, tangent, and cosine. And one more time just to review, sine is opposite over hypotenuse where this is your opposite side and this is your hypotenuse. So that's going to be 4 over 5. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse where your adjacent side is right here, right next to theta. Your hypotenuse is 5, so it's going to be 3 over 5. And lastly, tangent is going to be 4 over 3 because tangent is opposite over adjacent where 4 is your opposite and your adjacent side is 3. Okay, guys, so now we're going to actually go over two problems together. So the first one is find the hypotenuse of this right angle. And so right here, right, first of all, where is the hypotenuse? Remember that the hypotenuse tells you where it is, where the right angle is pointing opposite to it. So the hypotenuse is going to be right here. And so now that we're given that we have to use something with the hypotenuse, and also theta is pointing opposite to its opposite side, we have an opposite and a hypotenuse, which is going to be sine. Because we have an opposite side and a hypotenuse, we can use that to use sine. So sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So we're going to use that information in order to find the hypotenuse. So the first thing I would do is sine 40 equals 60 over x. The reason why we say 60 over x is because 60 is their opposite side right here. And x, we don't know what x. x is their hypotenuse. And we're trying to find what x is. And so what we do now is that we cross multiply, which is what I did here. So now I got sine 40x equals 60. And so what I did now is to get x by itself. I divide sine 40 on both sides to then get x equals 93.3434 or 93 inches. And so that makes sense because remember, not only is this correct, but the hypotenuse is always the longest length. And so if it's higher than 60, then it could be a possible correct answer. But let's say you get something below 60, then you know you did something wrong here. And so another problem here is find the opposite side of theta if theta is 60 degrees. And so right here, it's classified as theta. So let's say if this is 60 degrees now, right? And I'm giving that 70 right here is my hypotenuse because the right angle is pointing opposite to it. And I'm trying to find the opposite side right here. Why is this the opposite side? Because theta is pointing opposite to that side. Then we're going to have to use sine again because we're giving the opposite and the hypotenuse. And that's enough information to use sine. And so that's why I said so right here. And I use sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse or sine 60 equals x over 70. x is your opposite side, which we don't know and we're trying to solve. So what we do is cross multiply to get 70 sine 60 equals x or 
70 times sine 60, which you could do in your calculator, you're going to get 60.62177826 or 61 meters. And so notice that for these two problems right here, what I did is I annotate what sides are given to me to then know what trig function I can use. Whether if it's 10, cosine or sine, but both of them has to be sine because I was given an opposite and a hypotenuse. Okay guys, so now let's go over a word problem. So Alexis wants to break into a museum by scaling the wall with a rope. Alexis knows that the top of the museum is at 50 degrees to his feet when he is standing 25 feet away. How many feet of the rope does he need? And so right here, right? I drew this out for you guys, but basically, right? This is the, let's say like, you know, right here, this is like the museum, you know, I'm not the best artist, but this is the museum, right? And he's trying to break in, right? Looking up right here, that's 50 degrees up. And so right here between him and the museum, that is 25 feet apart. And so we're trying to find the opposite side right here because he's trying to find how long is the rope going to be. So notice how the angle right here is pointing opposite. So this is going to be opposite. And notice how 50 degrees is right next to 25. So that's going to also be your adjacent side. So notice how we have adjacent and opposite side. So that means that we're going to have to use tan because tan is opposite over adjacent. And so one thing, a tip for you guys is that I will recommend you guys like writing this down when you always see a word problem like this so you can know which trick function to use. Okay, so now let's actually do this problem. So if we're saying that now we could use tan, we're going to say that, okay, tan 50 equals, because we don't know what our opposite side is, we're going to say that this is x over 25. 25 is your adjacent side. Now what you do is cross multiply to then get 25 tan 50 equals x or 29.79, etc. But you could just round this to make this 30 feet. And so this is how you will tackle this problem. Okay, guys, so the last thing is the quiz. So normally, every single time I make a video, I will always post at least one form. But for this video, I might actually make two forms, one basic and one with actual problems. So the basic one might be like, oh, what is sine? Like, how do you find sine? Oh, opposite of hypotenuse, or something like that. And then the second form might be like an actual word problems and the actual math like math involved and so i would recommend you guys taking that because this is for extra practice and yeah and i also forgot to mention one more thing by taking these forms you're not alone so basically like every single time you answer a question either you get it wrong or correct i will always put a feedback and always like answer like try to help you guys out okay guys so this is the end of the video but i hope you guys understand now what sokoto means and what is sine what is tangent what is cosine and I just hope that this builds like a better understanding of what the trig functions of the basic concept is. And so if you guys have any other topics you want me to go over, tell me in the comments below, like and subscribe, please. And I'll see you guys next time.